Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well. A uh, couple of things to talk about in this video. <clears throat> I've decided on the spur of the moment this evening, I'm going to set up a Facebook group. I think it's called the Tool Addict uh, Vintage Tool or Collecting Tool Facebook group. Um, so it's for those people who like tools, presumably people watching my video like tools, because I can't imagine there's much else to look at on this channel. Um, if you like tools, if you get stuff on the car boot or the flea market or whatever, you want to post it and ask if anybody knows what it is or if you wanted to show your collection of, you know, pen knives or screwdrivers or whatever, it's a place for you. It's a closed group um, of people like minded who like tools and you you know like look talking about tools and looking at tools so if you get something interesting sometimes people want to tell me show me a picture or something so there'll be a link to the facebook group um really really interesting um and uh, hopefully a few people join it and um like-minded tool collecting people i've joined a few groups on facebook and i enjoy posting on the groups and talking to the people met some lovely people as well doing that so hopefully it'd be um, another place for you guys to talk amongst yourselves and personally talk and you know and see what other people's collections are not everybody's got the time to make videos like i do and jim and jack and scout crafter and all the other jack john fix and resto rob and everybody else so it's a place for you to post pictures etc etc without having to you know run a so run run you know make videos etc and um, so this is what the facebook group uh cover is it's these tools here laid out and um, another thing i wanted to talk about i've had a couple of items come today really exciting items the first item is this massive <laughs> little little tiny probably just over an inch i'd say where's the uh, tape measure when you need one we'll use that one just over um four centimeters which i don't know what that is let me have a look uh just oh just under two inches an inch and three quarters so in old money um i got this off my buddy leslie uh, who I actually met on one of the Facebook groups, funny enough. We did a swap, and what I got was this absolutely amazing holdfast wrench from 1879. Absolutely amazing the way it unswivels, um, and then you can adjust it, and then you can basically tighten it, and away you go. I'll find it in the book now for you to show you. So I found the book. Here we are. We've got the... Bose Holdfast Wrench 1879 um, and it's a fantastic looking wrench loads of information who made it in the book as we call it with the spanners so I've been after one of these Holdfast wrenches for ages and I did a swap with my buddy so thank you for that really love this wrench the way the way it adjusts and then the way you just swivel it and adjust it. What a clever design, 1879. So it's 140 years old, this wrench. And I just think it's a fantastic design and it really works well, lock solid, really, really quick action, quick adjust. Ain't that just the cleverest little thing you've ever seen? Six inches long. There we are, W uh, Bose or whatever, Bose Paintant. And I think it's a beauty. So new spanner miniature spanner which i was given and a new facebook group that's everything so feel free to join i'll put a link below i'll try and do it on instagram but instagram doesn't let you do any links feel free to join uh, say hello post pictures of your tools don't just join and don't post anything take a picture put some pictures up of your tools uh, and have some fun all right have a great day hopefully you'll join the group all right bye